Good morning, beautiful people. Good morning, good morning, good morning, good morning. It is your girl, Celeste Devine, out on my morning walk. And I just want to remind you of this message that just came back to me. Whatever God puts in you, he put it in you. He didn't put it in your friends. He didn't put it in your neighbors. He put that gift inside of you. Whatever vision God gave you, he gave it to you. He didn't give it to your cousin and them. He didn't give it to your girlfriend or your boo. He gave it to you. So a lot of times we can get frustrated because the person we're trying to explain this vision, this, this goal, this, this beautiful thing we want to manifest, we get mad because they're not happy for us. They're not as, as excited about it. <laughs> one of the reasons they're not happy, one of the reasons they're not excited is because God did not give that to them. He gave it to you. So negative Nancy's would always find a way to tell you that won't work. You can't do that. You can't, you can't, you can't just, you know, quit your job and do this. You can't go back to school. You can't write that book. You can't develop that business plan. Stop trying to convince people <laughs> that your beautiful goal, your beautiful dreams, all the things you're about to make manifest, stop trying to make people see it the way you see it, you know? If you start telling somebody about your vision and the first thing they tell you is it won't work, stop talking. Just stop talking because they're not going to be able to be receptive to you as you work to manifest what it is you're trying to manifest. Okay? Now, a lot of people think self-care is just going to the spa or to the gym or what have you. And those are forms of self-care. However, you also have to be very mindful of who you speak about your goals and your dreams to. Everybody is not able to listen and be proud of you on that journey, okay? So just remember, what God gives you as a vision, <laughs> he gave it to you. He didn't give it to your friend. He didn't give it to your boyfriend. He didn't give it to your cousin and them. So they may not be able to be as excited about it because deep down, <laughs> let me tell you this part. Deep down, they know you're going to make it happen. Deep down, they know that you can make it happen. But they don't want you to know because you just might be more successful than they are. Imagine that. <laughs> People get worried when they see that your success may trump theirs. It's crazy, but it does happen. So I don't want you to be ignorant of that or get mad because you start telling somebody your dream and they start telling you why it won't work. Don't get mad. Just shut up. Okay? Just shut up. They can't, <laughs> they're not going to be on part of your journey. You know, and I tell people all the time, everybody can't go where God is about to take you. Everybody can't go. Everybody ain't trying to hear the vision, the dreams, the things that you're about to make manifest because they're so scared that you're going to do, you're going to do better than them. They're so scared. They're worried that your glory, your beautiful manifestation just might make them not shine as bright. When you start telling somebody your goals and your vision and your dreams and they start down, downplaying and telling you why it won't work, stop talking. Just shut up. They're not going to be able to be there for you. Okay? Again, everybody can't go where God is about to take you. So I just wanted to remind y'all of that this morning. I'm on this morning walk getting it in. <laughs> and I just wanted to remind y'all of that. Everybody can't go where God is trying to take you. And God didn't give everybody the vision that he's given you. Okay? So sometimes you got to be okay with walking it alone. We were born alone, you know. <laughs> so it's okay to be the only one sitting at your table. It's okay to have to build your own table. But let me tell you something beautiful about building your own table. Nobody can say they gave you the wood. Nobody can say, well, I, I, you wouldn't have had that table if I hadn't did this for you. <laughs> Nobody can tell you why your fame, your glory, your manifestation came from something they did. So, be okay with going it alone. Be okay with not having everybody support your dreams and your visions because God did not give it to them. Okay? So, I'm going to get back to my morning walk. It just came across me because I know a lot of people right now got something in their spirit that God's been telling them to do, but they're so scared to do it because they got negative Nancy's around them telling them why it won't work. Listen, every single time you start telling somebody your vision and your goal and what God told you to do and they start telling you it won't work, shut up. 
just stop talking to them. Because <laughs> they ain't going to be along on your journey. They're so scared you're going to outdo them. Oh, my God. God forbid you outdo them. Those are not your people. Okay? Start realizing who your people are and who they're not. Your people want you to be great. Your people want to cheer for you. Even when the dream seems like it's like far-fetched. Your, your people are going to say, okay, girl, I don't know where you're going with this, but let me help you out, sis. Okay? So, I'm going to pause this recording so I can get back to my walk. It's so beautiful out here. And I just wanted to encourage you to stay encouraged. Stay lifted. Okay? God didn't give your vision the vision he gave you to everybody. So stop trying to convince them of how dope you are. Stop trying to tell them why it's going to work. Stop trying to convince them to get on your team. Everybody's not supposed to be on your team. Maybe you thought you were supposed to have a team of 10. You are only supposed to have a team of two. Okay? All right, lovely. So I'm about to get back to this walk. I love y'all. God just put it out on my heart to share this morning. So I wanted to share it with y'all, okay? Peace and love. Talk to you soon.